Hello everyone, this is Warhawk Beyond 2040 and welcome to another edition of the Jazz Albums Review Series and today I am going to be talking about two of the most celebrated, most decorated and respected musicians in the history of jazz music and between the two of them they have seen it all, they have done it all and they have played with them all and I am talking about of course the one and only legendary guitarist Pat Buffini and iconic bassist Charlie Hayden now, Pat Buffini and Charlie Hayden's long association first began in 1980 when Charlie Hayden played on Pat Buffini's classic 8081 recording with Dewey Redman, Michael Brecker and Jack DeJohnette. And Charlie Hayden also collaborated on Pat Buffini's classic trio recording Rejoicing with Billy Higgins. And he also collaborated with Pat Buffini and Ornitz Coleman on their wild and crazy Song X recording. And Charlie Hayden also guested on a number of tracks on Pat Buffini's epic Secret Story recording. And Pat Buffini also appeared on a couple of Charlie Hayden's albums, such as Nocturne and Rambling Boy. And they have also collaborated and worked in a number of different settings with other musicians, such as Joshua Redman, Abby Lincoln and Michael Brecker. But it wasn't until these two got together and created pure magic when they released the classic Beyond the Missouri Sky short stories, which was released in 1987. And in my opinion, this is the pinnacle of Pat Buffini and Charlie Hayden's legendary collaboration. So we've got Pat Buffini on acoustic guitars and other instruments and Charlie Hayden on acoustic bass. Doesn't get any better than this. And if I was going to recommend a guitar based duo album to anyone, this is the perfect album for you. It's absolutely lush, laid back, beautiful and gorgeous. Doesn't get any better than this. And I was very lucky to catch this tour back in 2003, which ironically enough was my first ever Pat Smithini show. And these two just exuberated pure elegance and class. Absolutely slick and, you know, what more can you say really? Nothing but the absolute best from two excellent musicians in Pat Buffini and Charlie Hayden. So we're going to take a look at this album. There you go. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that. And then we got that as well. So let's have a look. So we got Warps for Roof, which was composed by Charlie Hayden. Our Spanish Love Song, composed by Charlie Hayden also. Message to a Friend, which was composed by Pat Buffini and originally appeared on the collaboration with guitarist John Schofield on their I Can See Your House From Here recording. I like the original version, but this version just sounds absolutely beautiful. Two for the Road by Henry Mancini and Leslie Baruchus. First song by Charlie Hayden, The Moon is a Harsh Mistress by Jim Webb, The Precious Jewel by Roy Akuf, He's Gone Away, an arrangement by Pat Ruffini and Charlie Hayden, The Moon Song by John Mandel, Tears of Rain by Pat Ruffini, which features him on electric sitar, Cinema Paradiso, Love Theme by Andrea Marconi, and of course the classic Cinema Paradiso main theme by Ennio Marconi and Spiritual composed by Charlie Hayden's son, Josh Hayden. Absolutely beautiful. Doesn't get any better than this. Pure class, in my opinion. Absolutely pure class. So, there they are. There's Pat McVean and Charlie Hayden. A couple of cool dudes there. some sleeve notes by Charlie Hayden talking about how this album came about and we also got some sleeve notes by Pat Levine also the original lyrics as you can see and a nice picture of the two. So the standout tracks for me, for me I would say, The Moon is a Harsh Mistress, it's just absolutely gorgeous, you know, especially 
at the second half when the orchestrated synth work kicks in it's just beautiful for precious jewel he's gone away cinema paradiso love themes cinema paradiso main theme and message to a friend are the standout tracks for me but there's no bad track here you know every track from start to finish is just class and I would recommend this album to anyone and as I mentioned already this album won a Grammy and deservedly so and Pat Metheny and Charlie Hayden's collaboration would continue for a number of years long after this album they also recorded a soundtrack called Living Is Easy With Eyes Closed which is very similar to this album and Charlie Hayden would sadly pass away in 2014 which is a shame really because these two had such great chemistry together and Charlie Hayden's bass playing really brought out a different side to Pat Metheny I mean he's worked with lots of great bass players but there's just something about these two on this album when they got together just really brought out the best in each other and you know they've got a very simplistic sound Charlie Hayden and Pat Metheny when they work together but you know straight away it's them because they've got such a great way of playing together and the chemistry that they made was just unbelievable and sadly this was the only album they made I would have liked to have seen more maybe Pat Metheny's got more tucked away in the vaults who knows but highly recommend this album to anyone this is Pat Metheny and Charlie Hayden at their absolute best and in my opinion I've always said that Charlie Hayden works best in duo settings because he just brings his bass playing to another level in my opinion so there you have it Beyond the Missouri Sky short stories released in 1987 by Pat Metheny and Charlie Hayden so that's going to be it from me what are your favorite albums from Missouri Sky is it The Precious Jewel He's Gone Away or is it the gorgeous The Moon is a Harsh Mistress? Or is it Cinema Paradiso Love Theme or Cinema Paradiso Main Theme? You know what to do, guys. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, leave your thoughts and comments down below. And I will see all of you next time for another edition of the Jazz Albums Review Series. So until then, take care, everybody, and stay safe. And rest in peace, Charlie Hayden. <laughs>